But hey, what's up, guys? All right, so last video I talked about it, so let's do it this video. So I didn't have any rubbing alcohol to put in. Okay, so if you missed last video, this is what we talked about. I saw this awesome video where this lady or guy, I couldn't tell by the screen name, they covered this all with white. They put alcohol, rubbing alcohol, inside of the uh, inside of the white. So when the other ones poured over it, they kind of feathered out towards the edges. I thought that was amazing. So I'm gonna do something similar, except I didn't have any rubbing alcohol. And so this is an absolute adventure. I don't know if this is gonna work, but nail polish remover. <laughs> If nothing else, if you know better, I'm so glad you're not here to, uh, to tell me not to do this because I think it's going to be fun. Um, I'm going to pour this white. Ooh, Nat. Ooh, did I get him? You're red now, Nat. Sweet. Before you landed in a painting. Oh my goodness, that would have been irritating. Okay, cool. So back to the back to business. Uh, oh yeah. So now there is nail polish remover in this white. So I'm hoping they're not so dissimilar that um, that they're going to ruin the painting. But hey, I mean, if it works, I've never heard of anyone else doing this. So this can be your and I's secrets and the other two people that are subscribed to my channel. Um, which happens if you do happen to uh, have room on your subscribe channel should reach down there and click that button. All right, so uh, let's cover this thing in white first. I'm gonna save a touch for the... No, I'm not. What am I even talking about? Let's get it out of there. I'm not sure if this uh, this fingernail polish remover is gonna mess with the the gesso on the, on the canvas or... I don't know, but it's going to be fun, and we're going to do it. And nothing ventured, nothing gained, and all those other things that people say when they're about to mess up. <laughs> all right. I'm going to spread this around a little bit. Ooh! Oh, man! So somebody gave me the greatest idea of going to a thrift store to get a cake, a cake frosting spatula. And I did. I did it today. It was awesome. Uh, and I um, totally left it upstairs. So, we're covering with another popsicle stick. And then, next time. Alright. I could totally smell that nail polish from ever coming off this white paint. So, if it doesn't work, you know, it doesn't work, I guess. That's... It's not really life or death, it's just a painting. That if it sucks, I'll just, I'll just paint over it or toss if I can't paint over it. So this is right here is an eight by eight canvas, or if you, um, if your country got their act together and went over to metric, it's about 20, 20 by twenty centimeters. About. It's not not exactly, but it's close. Okay, so this white right here is um, some Artist Loft Titanium White. It is bare premium plus ultra deep base with nothing else in it. And um, I was watching Sarah Fezio, and she said that um, that's what she uses on hers. And... Uh, for one of her pouring mediums and it's white so white enough and there we go all right so uh, let's just start pouring some colors on there I'm gonna at this point now for the rest of the video we're just gonna pick a corner let's pick this corner it's my favorite color corner favorite corner uh, I want to put the colors in from darkest to lightest so let's start with this this brown this is Montana moss and I'm using this so much because, I don't know, I'm on a brown kick. And why not? So let's start this up in this corner and... 
just let it kind of do what it's going to do. And hopefully it'll, uh, it'll do it on its own. It'll start that, uh, oh, see, we can already see it right here, how it starts to, how the edges of this are starting to break down because of the acetone and the paint. All right. Next with the gold. I love gold. I'm going to put gold in everything from now on. What do you think? I nah, get boring. It was a good thought, though. I'm trying to string this along a little bit so it starts to thick and gets thinner towards the edge. It's not cooperating. So this is nothing like that other person's look like. Um, they must have done a dirty pour. I can totally do that later. Not on this one. Oh, what am I doing? No! Oh! Okay, so that happened. This is turning into a swipe. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get my cake duster. Cake froster. Don't go anywhere. Stay right there. Oh no, I already brought it in. It's somewhere in here, it's hiding. That was totally like inches from my back. Awesome, so yeah, $1.99, that was fantastic. All right, so you can see how the edges of this are, are breaking down. Uh, let's just give that a swipe right there. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's kind of fun. Dry this bad boy off and kind of spread that out. There's way more, way more, way more green than I want. Or that I'm even, com I'm just not comfortable with all that green. It's just, I don't like it. It's too much. Actually, it doesn't bother me at all. Man, I like that. How f fun and cool is that? You know what? On a whim, I'm going to torch this just to see. And yeah. Okay. Not a lot happened. So <laughs> I don't know what I expected. I'm gonna pour off some of this green and stretch this red through a little bit. It's not gonna be a fantastical amount of red, but it's better than all that green. It's too much green. And let's spread that out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Man, I know as soon as I do this, I'm gonna mess up the thing I wanna keep. All right, so, um, yeah, all right. Hmm. Give up on the negative space? I don't know. I wish I wasn't here alone. This would be so much better. I should try this live. Oh, so Magusta much better. Mm -mm, that didn't turn out how I thought it would. Let's get that off there and spread it out a little bit. Looks like it committed murder. Kind of did. But, seriously though, for real, next time, dirty pour. Dirty pour in that corner. I thought they layered it just because the way it was perfectly layered, but it just might have been the way the the thing fell. Uh, now that we swipe, I'm going to spread this out a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just doing it. Ooh. Hmm. 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 I don't want to do a whole lot more, actually. 
Um, I don't know. You know, what some of you, uh, you more practiced painters have been telling me is slow down. Sometimes there's some really awesome stuff, and then if you're not careful, you'll lose it. And so I want to be careful and not lose. Man, now i got to pour that off. Let's see if I can re... I do like the gradient, though. That's beautiful. Okay. Before... <laughs> I'm going to pour some of this red off at the top, and then I'm going to be done. Wait, let's torch. A little bit. Not a lot of it. A little bit. Pop the bubbles. Ah, forget it. Torch it a lot. Boom. Torched. Like it. Done. Alright, so I'm going to pour some of this down that way. The things I really like about this, what kind of developed? I love this here, and I love how that this gold is kind of, it's almost layered over. I don't know if that's the right... I'm really explaining what I like about it, but it's like the brown comes up over it a little bit. Yeah, I like that. But this is the only place where we have this super saturated red, and I don't want it. I don't like it. Hoping if I could just get it started just a little bit. All right, that's gonna have to be enough for the moment. And um, I think this rag is just about had it, but I do want to see if <laughs> uh, you know the thing is if you wipe your blade. And then don't move the <laughs> and then you don't move the uh, uh, the rag that just wiped off all your junk. It's gonna come right back onto your blade, and that's you're done. All right, let me get this just a touch cleaned off, or moss cleaned off. So, um, I want to get this over a little bit, so pick up, pick up some of this. Oh, man. I only want a little bit, and I don't want a whole lot of this. Some of it wouldn't be bad, though. Let's see if we can get under it. Oh, yeah. Look at, would you look at it? Would you just look at it? Okay, it just occurred to me that probably almost all of you probably didn't get that reference because it's a really obscure, obnoxious YouTube video that was out a while ago. But this guy, this guy, he's, he goes to buy cars and he's just messing with everybody. And he just keeps saying, would you look at it? And then he would tell a story and, uh, and the whole time he would throw in just way too many, would you look at it? And so that's what I was referencing. Probably no one got, but. All right, well, where's this? Where's our white here? I'm trying to get up the last bit of some of these details. Um, I don't want, I don't want to see the canvas texture on the top with thin paint and whatnot. So just, <laughs> got a little ride along right there. So I'm just trying to get this a little bit thicker through here. Where'd that red come from? Must have been right underneath the surface. Um, mm, mm, mm. 
All right, so there we are. Is it? All right, guys, I'm just about done here. Did I miss anything? You know, I've heard a lot of people saying they really like the sides of their canvas. I totally understand what you guys mean. For some reason, it seems like almost every time the sides of the canvas turn out awesome. Not just good, but like awesome. So, yeah. And as soon as I get this last bit covered up, I'll get you down off that tripod and uh, bring you over so you can get a, a closer look at it. Alright. Uh, just to touch a little white right on this bit and right there on that bit Get those bits taken care of and That should flatten out Hopefully Maybe Let's stick with hopefully I like hopefully. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, must have been right underneath the surface. I thought I had just contaminated the painting. No, no, totally did. Whatever. I gotta stop messing with it before I mess it up. Do you guys ever do that? Where you're just about to mess it up and you're like, oh, I just gotta stop. Okay, um, this is an absolute mess and I'm so glad um, that I've got this plastic down. Yeah, that would have been something. So, uh, out of yesterday's pour, you can see how the paint has developed. It's on this right side here. And the paint... Oh, there's my hand. I'm sure you're pretty darn interested in that hand. Okay, so from what we started out with to what we ended up with, way, way, way happier with what we've come up with. I really do like this right here, this gradient down the middle here. Um, you know, turned out better than I thought. Turned out better than I thought. And actually in person, it's it shows up cooler in person. It's not getting the greens in some of these areas. Yeah, I like that. I'll take a picture for you and set it as the, uh, the thingamajigger, the thumbnail, a little bit later. Here's how this one, yesterday's, is kind of shaping up. That paint is still moving, so I'll take a picture of this in a little bit. But, some craziness. That is a very active, very, wow, that light. There we go. I'm going to have to get it like a diffuser on that light. It's no good. But yeah, there's a lot of action, a lot of movement, a lot of whatever. Okay, so anyway, guys, thank you for staying. Thank you for watching. Uh, we've successfully, or uh, as a beginning, got the nail polish remover in our paint. Could have been better. Could have been way worse, though. And um, I like how it's still developing. I can see some of these edges still feathering out. So, um, yeah, tomorrow morning I'll take a picture of it and then put it as the as the thing. Oh, jeez. Words are hard. It's a thumbnail. All right, guys. Have a good night or good day, good morning. Enjoy a cup of coffee or whatever you're drinking. Because if you stayed this long, you're probably drinking. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. Bye.